idea is rather simple. My idea may be deemed radical, and for that, I'm going to have to ask you to trust me. I'm not saying accept it straight out. What I'm saying is form arguments. Learn to exist within the idea, but know and trust that I'm up here with love. That's what connects us all, love. And though I'm sure plenty of us may pride ourselves in our ability to stitch our friends back together, how many of us are comfortable with becoming unstitched and listening within? How many of you know that you're worth the time? Because you are. The, the idea, the notion, the concept of loving yourself fully before loving anyone else is often contested and sometimes called inconsiderate. However, I think it might be necessary. As we inch closer to May, I find some of my friends and myself becoming weighed down by, the idea, by, by tasks that are technically somebody else's. <laughs> and so we become stressed out and we're worried and we said that we'd give her all and we don't know what to do question. When this happens, if this happens to you, do you reflect? No, no, no. I don't mean the rerunning of arguments that you've had or not even the prepping for arguments that you think you might get into. No, deeper than that. How many of you have sat down and examined the way that you talk to yourself? And is it the same way that you would show up for a friend or a family member? If not, why are you comfortable using those words on yourself? Or rather, are the things that you're involved in that are stressing you out necessary for your desired impact? If not, why are you still involved in them? Is there anything you can do to change? Is there anything you can do to change right now? Because I know that we're all busy people, and I want to ensure that we have time to reflect on these things, we're going to take a little bit of time now. So reflect. This act of taking time for yourself must be done regularly, should be done regularly, and if people start to call you selfish, they're trying to control you. <laughs> selfish is putting your wants over others' needs. Self-respect is putting your needs over others' wants. And let me tell you, the brain needs a little bit of quiet time before it, so it can grow. In this process of becoming unstitched, examine your wounds. Learn how deep they go. We all hold stories of people leaving, so be sure to give roses to the ones who are still with you. Don't concern yourself with scarring. It's just the byproduct of the human condition. They'll hold the stories that make us us. You create light when you learn to love yourself, and that light will illuminate the path to show others around you. This path will teach them either how to love you or potentially how to love themselves, so let it happen. And the mere act of existing you're allotted an equal amount of space to consume as everyone else, so take it. When you learn the ability to look at yourself full picture and within the context of the Jahari window, you begin to play in your arena. And when you learn to look outside of what you know and what you know everyone else knows, you begin to fill out that space. It's almost like if you go to the gym and you regularly weight lift, it's like that protein shake you drink after the weightlifting session. And it helps stitch the muscle fibers back together. And then next week, if done regularly, if done consistently, if done properly, you'll be able to add five pounds to your personal record. This growth will take time. Remember that. Along the way, it's okay to stop and smell the roses. It's okay to recognize and to celebrate the progress that you've made. The act of living is an ongoing and ever-changing process, so the act of loving yourself will be an ongoing and ever-changing process, so accept that. I've had a few people in my life who have recently told me that they've changed and they feel lost. And I won't lie, I've said similar phrases. But living is not stagnant, so change is bound to happen. It's the same reason you can't step in the same river twice. The water doesn't stop moving and neither do you. Remember that through it all, the person you spend all your time with is yourself. It's who you go to bed with, it's who you have your meals with, literally everything, so use gentle hands. Love often fools us into thinking that we must break ourselves in order to prove our worth. But remember, good love won't let you. And through it all, remember that you're worth the time. Thanks.